This week we're doing a highly requested tutorial, Luminosity Masks inside of Photoshop. Now this is an incredibly powerful tool, it's a powerful technique that enables us to bring out the detail exactly where we want it in the image. We're going to divide up our image into three zones, shadow, highlight, and midtone zones, and make adjustments. So let's set up those zones now. What we're going to do is we're going to go into the channels. So in the channels, what we want to do is we want to load the luminosity. So we're going to start with making the highlight zones or the brightness zones. So if I hold down the control key and click on the thumbnail on the RGB, it's going to load the lightness or the luminosity. That would be command click on Mac. Now what we want to do is create a new channel based on that selection. So in the channels panel, don't hit the plus here, hit the channel. And then we're going to call this lights. So this is essentially selected the lights. Don't deselect yet. What we want to do now is we want to intersect with this and create even lighter lights. So you're going to hold down Command Shift and then uh, Option, and it would be Control sh Alt Shift on Windows. So that's oh, let me say it again. It's Shift Alt Control or shift option command on Mac. So those three keyboard shortcuts. And then you're going to click on the new thumbnail that we created on the lights thumbnail and notice how that intersects it. And now it finds the lights areas within this image or with this channel. And then we're going to click here to create a new one. And then we're going to call this one lights two. And we're going to do the same thing again. Hold down those three keys, click Notice it intersects it once more, and then we get even lighter lights. Now, some people call these lights, light lights, light lights, and I'm just going to number them. I'm just going to call them lights, lights two, and we'll call this lights three. Now, you can keep going as far as you want, but this is definitely dividing up the image far enough as far as I'm concerned. So we've got three different zones of lights. Let's hit Control D or Command D to turn off that selection and now we're going to go through and select the dark areas. So let's hit control or command click on the thumbnail that loads it in. Now what we need to do is we need to inverse the selection because right now it's selected all the light areas rather than the light areas we want to get the dark areas. So command shift I that be control shift I on Windows will inverse the selection and now we're selecting the dark areas rather than the light areas. So this is the opposite. Now click the icon here to create a new channel and we're going to call this darks. And yes, this is a more of an advanced technique. So, um, but wait till you see what we can do with this. Okay. So we want to intersect the darks and get the darker darks. So hold down the shift command option on Mac shift control alt on windows and click on that thumbnail that intersects our darks and now we want darks too. All right, and of course I can't spell. There we go, darks too. All right, let's do the same thing again. Hold down the three modifier keys, click on that thumbnail to once again, we want to intersect that. And we've got one more, we're gonna call this one darks three. And if we look at the different thumbnails, we can see, let me just control D to turn it off. Once again, you could keep going. And, uh, but with, I think three levels is enough for this tutorial and really for most practical uses. So the light areas are the areas that are gonna be the selected. Uh, so those are the areas that we're gonna see. So the dark areas are not gonna be selected. The light white areas are gonna be selected and the gray areas are gonna be semi-selected. So that's how it does the tones. Let's just go through some of these. There's darks, there's dark two, and there's our regular dark. So notice it's more mid-tones, more is being selected. It's not as isolated. And let's go to the lights. We'll hit the top area, notice the light areas are the areas that are going to be selected once again. So we've got the clouds and over here. And as we go down, see how it isolates it more and then lights three, just the lighter areas, just the lightest areas. So as we go down, it gets more selective. There's one more zone that we need to set up. Let's click on RGB. And what we need to do now is we need to set up the midtones. 
So the midtones are basically going to be the entire image minus those darks and minus those lights. That kind of makes sense, right? So with RGB selected, hit Control A. And that would be Command A to select all. So now we've selected everything. Now what we want to do is rather than intersect, we want to subtract. So the keyboard shortcut to intersect was Control Shift Option. So to subtract, we're not going to be using the, the Shift key. We're just going to use Control and Alt on Windows or Command and Option on Mac. So let's do that right now. So we've got everything selected. We want to subtract the lights. Control and so of course Control Alt click. That's Command Option click on Mac. Okay, so now we have the midtones minus the lights, but we also want to take the darks away. So do it again. Control Option Command Alt or Command Command Control. You know, it would be Mac or Windows Alt Option Mac Windows, right? So pick your keyboard shortcut, and then we're going to click on darks. And look at this little warning. It says that, you know, you won't see any selection, but it doesn't matter. It is selected. And how do we know? Because we're going to go and hit our little icon and boom, look at that. Now we get mids. So now we've created or we've created channels for three levels of lights, three levels of darks and our midtones. And now we can isolate these. Now, this is so powerful. Now we're going to learn how to use these. And this is where you're going to say, OK, this is worth the effort. This lesson is actually one of the lessons of my brand new course, Photoshop 2022 for digital photographers. It's over nine hours of content and contains over 80 individual lessons to really teach you Photoshop for photography. And also we have a launch special. Check out that discount It's there in the show notes and in the comments. All right, let's carry on. I'm just going to drag out the channels panel up above so we can see both of these the layers and the channels at the same time it's going to make it easier to work so so to show you just how powerful this is why don't we start with the darks and we're going to go to the darkest darks that we've selected i notice i called that darks two let's make it darks three there we go and what i want to do is just hold down the control or command key to and click on the thumbnail and that will load any of the channels that we want. Okay, so let's go into the very darks and then under layers, we're now going to create a adjustment layer and we're going to do curves. Notice when we apply that, it creates that mask and that's our luminosity mask. Alt or option clicks it. There we go. See that mask? So that means that the areas that are white are going to be adjusted and the areas that are black are not going to be adjusted. So let's go back to our curve and notice these areas are too dark, right? We want to lighten them up. Look at this as we go, see how it affects just those darker parts of the image. So let's go in there. We're going to open that up a little bit. Great. Now I feel like I want to go one more level. So let's go to our channels. And if you remember, we got just the darkest darks. Let's go up a level. Control click selects those. Let's go create a curve adjustment. And why don't we adjust that curve? Just darken it down just a little bit because I felt like some of the areas were just a little too, too dark. OK, great. So we've got that. All right, let's go. I see that light areas are too light. My face here and the picture's blown out the sky. Let's go and hit some of those. So let's go to the lightest area. Control command click on lights three, which is the lightest part of the image. And let's make sure RGB is selected always. All right, let's grab our curves adjustment. And now we can darken down those light areas. Look at that. See, particularly around here. See how it just brings out. You can just really make your image pop. And it's also bringing back some of the color here in the face. Great. So why don't we go ahead and do one more. I'm going to do the midtones. So control click on those mids. And it will get that warning. It says no pixels more than 50% selected. The selection edges will not be visible. It doesn't mean that they're not selected. They are selected. It just doesn't show the marching ants. That's all. OK, so let's go and apply another curve to our midtones. So go under the curves 
and notice we can hit those midtones. Look at that. We can lighten them or we can darken them. I'm going to darken them down just a little bit because, you know, what I'm seeing is this area here. And there is just a little too bright. And by pulling this down, see how we can just target the different tones inside the image. And it might not seem like we've made a huge difference, but watch this. When I turn off the layers that we've done, this is our luminosity mask. Look at that image before. There's our mid-tones, there's our highlights, there's our mid-shadows, there's our deep shadows, and I actually feel like that's a little much, so we we'll take the opacity down a little bit. And notice you can adjust the opacity on these afterwards. Now, if I just wanted to hit any other area, you can see that we can easily do that. So once again, let's look at what we've done here. There's before, and there's after. And that is how powerful luminosity masks are. So as you can see, this gives us so much control over the tones in our images. I'm curious, have you guys ever used luminosity masks before? Let me know in the comments underneath. And by the way, let us know where you're from. I'm curious where everybody's from. And if you are new, welcome to Photoshop Cafe. Um, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and you won't miss any of my videos. And do me a favor, guys, if you like this, got any value out of it, hit that thumbs up, that's that like button. It helps us with the YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to check out my course, Photoshop 2022 for Digital Photographers. It's the fastest way for you to learn and master Photoshop. All right, guys, until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.